Good morning, Bolen. I'm Stephen Kayas. And I'm Frankie Menendez. And welcome to, th to this edition of WBLN for today, September 9, 2016. So, Stephen, I heard you got a behind the scenes look at the new campus store. I did, and it was actually really exciting to see all the new stuff that they'd come up with. Okay, we'll get back to that in a little while. But uh, first, it will be 15 years since the United States was attacked on 9 11. And as the U.S. gets ready to remember that faithful day, the American flag, raised by the firefighters at ground zero of the 9 11 attacks on the World Trade Center, is back home. It's now on display at the National September 11 Memorial and Museum in New York. The flag was missing for years, but turned up in November 2014 when a man gave it to the police in Everett, Washington. He told them it was given to him by a widow of a 9-11 victim. Forensic experts determined that it is the flag from Ground Zero, Ground Zero but how the flag ended up nearly 3,000 miles from home is still a mystery. Late breaking news, North Korea successfully tested a nuclear warhead early this morning. According to its state media, this warhead is new, lighter variation of the missile. The missile sent a payload with a 10 kiloton blast, strong enough to create a seismic activity in the northeast region of North Korea. The nuke caused a 5.3 magnitude earthquake, having about the same power as the little boy nuke dropped at Hiroshima. More on the story as it develops. But in other news, like I said earlier, I took some time to go visit the bookstore and check out what was new. Let's take a closer look. Bolen has begun its new year, and with it came a few changes over the summer. For example, the brand new Bolen campus store has opened. Yeah, we're really excited about the campus store. We've done some, uh, some pretty unique things with it. We're excited about where it's going to be. We're not quite where we want it to be just yet. We have some new merchandise coming in. We want it to be the best high school campus store in the country. We also have the mobile store that we're going to be unveiling uh, around the time of the Columbus game. So uh, we're also looking for a lot of student input on what it is that they'd like to uh, see being sold as we, uh, as we move through the year. The updated Belen bookstore is already proving to be a very welcome addition to the Belen campus. In fact, students are already rushing in to buy new lanyards, hats, shirts, and polos. I love the new bookstore. I love that you can walk around and look at all the, all the new items they offer. I love the new location. It's a lot more spacious and more open. Reporting for WBLN, I'm Stephen Kayez. Belen's parking lot is full of nice cars, but which ones are the student body's favorites? Our own Marco, Marcos De La Oz has a story. The Belen parking lot is full of some pretty cool cars. Today we have the opportunity of checking out the top cars on campus. Hi, my name is Kevin Maloura and this is my 2014 260S. Um, it's sick and the reason I got this car was because it's pretty rare, no one really has it. And especially in this color and the fact that it's sick, it makes it rare. And the things I love about it is that uh, it sounds really good. And uh, I, get, I think it's a really good looking car from the front. I'm Enrique Vila. This is my 2016 Volkswagen Golf R. And I like it because it sounds good, it's fuel efficient, and it's unique. I prefer to drive manual over automatic because you have more control of the car. I got this car a month ago because I've always liked BMW. And my dad used to have one, so I learned how to drive in a BMW. I like this car because it's a coupe and it has a really sporty look. This is my car, it's Lexus IS 250F Sport. I like it because it's fast, nice, and it drives well. For WBON, I'm Marcos De La Oz. Now back to you. Thank you, Marcos. Authorities say that a suspect in the Texas school shooting is dead. The shooting happened Thursday morning at Alpine High School, roughly 200 miles southeast of El Paso. Two people were shot, one by friendly fire. One of the victims was sent to the hospital. Also, a police officer was shot accidentally by a marshal. According to the sheriff of Brewster County, the shooter died from a self-inflicted gunshot. Wells Fargo has been hit with a $185 million fine for opening millions of unauthorized accounts in order to satisfy sales goals. 5,300 employees have been fired for it. As part of an agreement with, regu with regulators, Wells Fargo will also compensate customers who had to pay fees or charges for the accounts. Investigators say thousands of employees at Wells Fargo opened accounts and moved funds that led to customers being charged. Former workers say they were under pressure to meet sales goals. all students, Picture Day will take place Thursday, September 17th. That's next Thursday, guys, so you must wear special dress uniform. Please complete the form that was handed out by your homeroom teachers or go online. Last Wednesday, Apple held their annual convention in San Francisco. The day was very exciting for those fans of the respective products. Among the announcements were new wireless headphones, Nintendo with a surprise appearance of Mario, and the new Apple Watch Series 2 with new features such as the fact that it is waterproof. 
However, the show was stolen by none other than the new iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, which now includes better cameras depending on which model, and better battery life, and along with the fact that it is also waterproof. Among the new changes is also the removal of the audio jack, which has been rumored for months. The iPhone is available for pre-order September 9th and everywhere September 16th. For WBLN, I'm Ricardo Labrada. One quick message for all students interested in joining the Belen Film Club. There will be a meeting today after school in C205. Now stay tuned as we bring you weather and sports right after these messages. Good morning, Belen, guys. It's finally Friday. Should be a great day to go support your Wolverines at the local track and field maps. Let's take a look at the map. As you can see, this is a map for the whole day. There's a couple of clouds here and there, but it should be a hit or miss day. Shouldn't be that bad. Let's take a look at the highs and lows for today. Today we have a high of 89, a low of 79. Might be a little sticky, guys, at 74%. Wind's coming in at the east at 13 miles per hour and 60% chance of rain. But more than likely, it should be less. Let's take a look at the next three days. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday is looking a little shaky out there. I'm leave I have 60% chance on the screen for you guys, but maybe, most likely, should be in the 40s. It's all for your forecast. It's bounced on the sports. Hello, Wolverine Nation. Yesterday, the varsity golf team defeated Ransom Everglades by a score of 158 to 168 at the Biltmore Golf Club. Leading the way for the Wolverines were Beto Perez shooting a 36 and Guillermo Najera shooting a 39. The junior high football team opened up their season with a dominating performance, beating Gulliver 16-6. The Wolverines scored on the opening drive when Dorian Gonzalez completed an 18-yard touchdown pass to Eddie Duran. In the second half, Gulliver was able to close the gap by scoring a touchdown of their own and being down 8-6. Later, the offense went on a 70-yard drive and put the game away when Jacob Lasso scored an 8-yard run, which was followed by a 2-point conversion. Gonzalez completed 4 passes for 85 yards and had 113 rushing yards, while the Pajos, Pasos and Michael, Nicholas Mora combined for 6 tackles for losses to lead the defense. The varsity football team heads to Pinecrest tomorrow afternoon to take on Gulliver at 3 p.m. Belen looks to extend their streak against the Raiders and are excited to getting back to play in front of the Wolverine Nation. Tickets are $5. Go out and support your Wolverines. Last night in the semi-final round of the U.S. Open, Serena, Serena Williams faced a shocking Serena upset Serena versus Kresic Carolina Pliskova. Pliskova won like in two year. straight sets, 6-2 and 7-6, while dominating play from the outset with her serve. Pliskova notched seven aces during the match, but it was her efficiency on the first serve that proved to be the difference. Pliskova will move the on and is set to play in some of the time. Down low for that shot. The Miami Marlins seem to be struggling as they begin the month of September and start heading towards October and a possible playoff run. The Marlins were looking good in August but have lo now lost 10 of their last 12 games. Luckily for Marlins fans, Giancarlo Stanton has returned to the lineup after being out from play due to an injury. With 21 game le games left in the season, the Marlins will be facing more division rivals and look to come out with some wins as they are 13 games behind the first place Nationals and five games behind the second place Mets. And guys, football is finally back. Last night officially kicked off the start of the NFL season. And with more on the story, here's Raul Rodriguez. The NFL season is here, and what better way to have started it off than with a Thursday night football game showcasing a Super Bowl 50 rematch between the Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers. With the retirement of future Hall of Famer Peyton Manning, the Broncos' main concern this past offseason was who would fill the role of starting quarterback. 
As for the Panthers, they are looking for redemption after capping off a monster season only to fall short during the Super Bowl. Throughout the game, both teams flexed their defenses while their offenses slowly got on their feet, eventually leading to both teams scoring a combined five touchdowns. With the game coming to a close, the Broncos saw themselves leading with a 21-20 lead due to the combined efforts of Trevor Simeon and C.J. Anderson. With the Panthers in field goal range, it was all up to kicker Graham Gano to put away a 50-yarder in the closing seconds, but unfortunately for him and the Panthers, the kick went wide left, sealing the win for the Broncos. You know, this was a tough one. You know, it, it's kind of what you, you envision. You, you, you want to take it down to the last second, and uh, you got a chance to, to, to win it, and unfortunately we didn't. You know, the bad part is it came down to that. You know, but again, those are two good teams out there that fought and played very hard, and at the end of the day, we missed our opportunities. The rest of the NFL games will be played all day Sunday, and there will be a Monday night football game to finish off week one. Luckily for football fans, there's 15 weeks of the regular season, so we won't be without football for a very long time. For the VBLN, the New York Mets tweeted out that they have signed Tebow to a minor league contract. The former NFL quarterback held an open trial last week in front of scouts from 28 of 38, 30 MLB teams. Tebow will participate in the Mets Instructional League. The 29-year-old hasn't played competitive baseball since high school. His plan to shift from football to baseball was announced in August. Tebow wasn't able to stick on an NFL ro roster after his run with the New York Jets in 2012. He settled into broadcasting role on the SEC Network and even made appearances on Good Morning America. That's all for sports, guys. Now back to you at the desk. Thank you, Mark. But before we go, a technological advancement that may change the future of fast food delivery. Flying burritos over Virginia Tech. Now, it may sound like a bad joke or a college student's dream, but it will become a reality later this month. That's when Google is set to begin testing drone delivery at the school. Students and employees will be able to order Chipotle burritos on a special kiosk. They will be made at a Chipotle food truck on site and then delivered to a confined area. The self-navigating drones will lower the burritos using a tether. Google says it chose to test food delivery to learn how to package sensitive cargo for drone delivery. Google has been testing drones since 2014, viewing them as an environmentally friendly option for package delivery over fuel-powered vehicles. Definitely something I'm looking forward to. Well, that's all the time we have for today, so be sure to follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook for all the latest news and pictures. I'm Stephen Caez. And I'm Frankie Menendez. And from everyone here at WBLN, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and stay golden, Wolverines.